Yo, 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 what's cracking everybody? So in today's video, I'm just gonna give you a real quick tutorial about how to add plugins to FL Studio. Obviously, this is aimed at like beginners. This is aimed at people who don't know how to add VST or effect plugins yet. Or you might be someone who's more experienced in FL Studio, but you haven't added a plugin in so long, you forgot how to do it, which is totally understandable. Either way though, the process is super simple. So in order to demonstrate this, I have this tab opened up right here, and this is the plugin that I want to download. It's OSS Enterprise. So step number one would be downloading the files, and which type of file you download depends on if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit computer. There is a way to check which bit computer you have, but most computers nowadays are 64-bit, and that's usually just the one I always click, and it always seems to work for me, no matter what computer I'm using. But if you don't know how to check that, just give it a Google search and I'm sure you'll be able to find out pretty quickly. Once you download the files, you're going to be given a zip file. So what I like to do is I like to drag it onto my desktop just like that. And you're going to right click the file and you're going to hit extract all. So right here you get to set a destination. I usually just put it straight to my desktop. And once you hit extract, it's going to load just like this. And then boom you now have a folder with all the extracted files. And one thing I should mention is that this is only the process on Windows. If you have a Mac, I'm sorry, you're shit out of luck. I don't know how to work a Mac. Now, once you've extracted the files, there's gonna be two different types of plugin. The first one is gonna be the kind where you have a DLL file, and the second kind is gonna be one where you have a setup application. In this case, this plugin, OSS Enterprise, has a setup application. So you're gonna to wanna to double click it. And right here, it's saying that it's an unknown source. So, you know, you wanna be wary downloading it. And obviously you should always check to be sure that the plugins you're downloading aren't like virus filled and shit. They're coming from safe websites. I trust this site. I've gotten plugins from here before. So I'm gonna hit yes. So the next thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna allow you to choose where you want the plugin to be installed to. And generally it's gonna select a default folder for you. Usually the default folder will work. However, there are multiple different folders within your computer that FL Studio will scan to see if there's any plugins in them. So if you want to change the location that the plugin is being installed to you hit the browse button and it's going to allow you to go through all your computer's folders and you can search for whatever folder you would like however for me i know that my fl studio is going to search this vst plugin folder to see if there's any plugins in it i know from experience i have it set up to allow it to search through this folder so i'm going to hit next and then finally, I just hit the install button and now you just have to wait for it to load. Now, the next thing I like to do is I like to actually go to the folder that the plugin has been installed to to make sure that it went there. This is a little bit extra, but it's just something I do to make sure. So I would go to this PC in my folder navigator. I head down to Windows C, go to program files, and I know that the folder that it got installed to was VST plugins. So if I go into here, there it is, it's OSS Enterprise. So now heading back into FL Studio, what you have to do to set it up inside FL is head up here to the Options tab and go down to Manage Plugins. Hitting this button is gonna allow this screen to pop up right here. And over here, you can see all of your plugin search paths. So when I said earlier that there are multiple folders within your computer that FL Studio will search to see if there's any plugins within them, these are all those folders. And in order to add new folders that FL will search through, you would hit this button right here. So if you want a custom folder to keep all your VST plugins in, maybe it's a folder that you're putting on a hard drive so that way, you know, you always have it stored somewhere. Or maybe you just want your own folder for organization purposes. You would add that folder by clicking this button and then, you know, you would go to your desktop or just go through your PC to find that folder. And once you add it, FL Studio will always search there to see if there's any plugins. So right here, I can see this folder program files vst plugins that is the folder that oss enterprise was added to so now if i hit find installed plugins it's going to scan through all of these folders to look for new plugins now just like that if you scroll down any new plugins that FL Studio found will be highlighted in yellow and all the old plugins will be white. And so now how you add this to your plugin list is you just hit this star right here. So now if I head over to my channel rack and I go to add a new plugin, you will see OSS Enterprise will pop up in here. If you don't hit that star, 
what you have to do to find the plugin is you have to go up here to more plugins and scroll through all of your plugins. But by hitting this star, you're basically marking the plugin as a favorite. So that way you don't have to go through that whole list. You can just find it in here. And as I said before, if you go to extract the file and it gives you a DLL file rather than a setup application, all you would do is you go to the folder that you want the plugin to be installed to and you just drag that DLL file into that folder. So really quick, I'm gonna demonstrate what the DLL file installation looks like. So I have this next plugin and I'm gonna extract this zip file by hitting the extract button, just like we did with the other plugin. However, now when we click on the folder, we can see that it's just giving us a DLL file. There is no installation process. Sometimes it will just be the DLL file. Other times it will have other things in here. So in this case, it has this instruments folder. So because it has this instruments folder, we don't want to just take the DLL. We want to take this whole folder and move it into our plugin folder. So in this other window, I'm going to scroll down to Windows C. I'm going to head to program files and I'm going to go down to VST plugins. So here it's super simple. You just click the folder and you just drag it in and it's going to ask you for administrator permission. You just want to agree to that. And there you go. Now it's in the folder. So if we go back to FL and we do the same thing we did before, we head down to manage plugins and we hit find installed plugins. It's going to search. And just like that, the plugin has showed up inside FL. So there you go. That's how you install plugins inside of FL. And that covers both plugins that have a setup application and plugins that just give you a DLL file with a couple other folders for the instrument presets. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Leave a like if you would like, and I will catch you next time.